Let me holla at ya. Come here, let me holla at ya. Let me holla at ya. Come here, let me holla at ya. You like that there? Hey. Did you like that there? This is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Today, I want to talk to you today about Roger Goodell. This is a message to Roger Goodell. This man finally admits that the league, the NFL league, was wrong for telling the players not to kneel. He wants to now sit down and have a conversation. Why? Why now? Why? You should have listened in the beginning when Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed tried to tell y'all what was going on. But now you pushed them to the side. You fired. You let Colin Kaepernick go. Talking about he was being disrespectful to the flag, to the soldiers, to America. This did not have nothing to do with that flag, America, and the military. Had nothing to do with them three things. It had everything to do with what's going on in America right now. This is why Colin Kaepernick took a knee. This is why he was bringing awareness to an injustice that has been going on for a long time in our community. And now you want to sit up here. Now you want to say, ooh, we were wrong for, for what we did, for what we said. You cannot make up for this. No sitting down, no kind of conversation can ever erase the disrespect that you showed to the players, the black players that took a knee for something that they were trying to bring awareness to. You can never make up for this. There is nothing that you can ever do to make this right. You showed who you were when you did what you did to players. Sorry about that, y'all. My phone wrong. But y'all showed who you were. You showed what kind of organization you were running. You showed that only certain players issues matter to you and if the person or the player was not white the issue didn't matter to you if the issue was not white the player did not matter to you colin kaepernick tried his best to tell y'all eric reed tried to tell y'all that what was going on in the community was a real thing he was trying to bring awareness to something that y'all needed to know about. But no, you deemed him unpatriotic, you un-American, disrespectful, and you did not stand with Colin. Now look at what's going on in America. Y'all could have stood together with the black players who were trying to bring awareness to the injustices that was, that's going on in our community. And you could have helped, you could have done something, but no, you kicked Colin out. You took this man's career from him. And this, and this is not about Colin, but this is about all of us. You disrespected the black community. You laughed in our face. You did not care that 
black men are being killed at an alarming rate. You do not give a damn. You call black players, black men, unpatriotic, un-American. You showed what kind of organization you have. You showed what you were about. You showed it. And there's no coming back from this. Now you see what Colin was talking about. Now you finally see. Now you understand. Well, it's a little too late. It's a little too late. Now you want to have a conversation. Now you want to have a sit down. Why? Why you want to have a sit down now? What's the point? What What is it going to change? Because when you could have had a sit down, when you could have had a conversation, you didn't. You thumbed your nose. You thumbed your nose up at the black community. Okay? You didn't care what our issues were. And you still don't care. You just trying to save faith. You just trying to make yourself look good. You just trying to make yourself feel better. But there, there, there is no making up for this. And, th and, and, and this was not a mistake. You, you, let's make that perfectly clear. You did not make a mistake. You did what you did on purpose. Okay, you did what you did on purpose. You hurt a large community. You hurt us by not helping us. You hurt us by not listening to us. But let's not be confused. That red, white, and blue, it would never be our flag. That would never be our colors. Our colors are red, black, and green. That's the flag that represents us. That's the flag that represents us. Now, I have family members that served under that flag proudly. That wore the uniform proudly. But they would never get recognition. They would never be treated fairly in this world because of the color of their skin. So many of our people serve your military and you disrespect us. You don't acknowledge our sacrifice, our blood, our sweat, and our tears. You don't recognize it. And this is why the riots are going on. The protests. This is why. Because you don't care about our skin color until it affects you. And this is affecting y'all. This is affecting y'all's pockets. Y'all's brand. It's, it's a little too late to apologize. It's a little too late to want to have a conversation. Because nothing you say, nothing you do can ever make up for the disrespect that y'all showed. For the lack of sympathy. For the lack of empathy. Let's get that straight. Let's understand that y'all showed so much disrespect when y'all did and said what you did and said I don't know what you can do from now on. Maybe you know what you can do? Just shut up and just listen. Learn something. Because nothing that you say at this moment will ever erase what you said and what you've done. N nothing you can say can just get rid of the disrespect. I'm just saying, just sit, just sit back, 
shut up and just learn something. Just, just learn something and stop being so racist and so bigoted, okay? Because you showed your bigotry. You showed your prejudice. You showed your racism, okay? You showed it all. You showed every last piece of your disrespect. Now it's our time to show you what that disrespect is did to us so i hope that you are prepared okay i hope that you're prepared and this is my message to roger Cadell. okay and if you made it to the end of my video y'all give me a thumbs up make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell twice to the side if you're old subscriber make sure you don't forget to share all my videos and like i always say have fun playing with your nails if you wouldn't if you bring your own have fun with your makeup if you're a makeup or you're just learning how to use it. And y'all, please do a like because God only gives you one. Bye, y'all.